Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to do a relatively short review of the metric system. But before we get started, we got to get out. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready? <laughs> Let's get started. Right there, metric system review, units of length. Well, here is a meter stick. Remember, a meter is slightly larger than a yard. There are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Milli means one one thousandths of. Therefore, there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. One meter is also equivalent to 100 centimeters. Centi means one one hundredth of. Therefore, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. One meter is also equal to 10 decimeters, Charlie. Deci means one-tenth of. Therefore, there are 10 decimeters in one meter. Okay, let's look at some units of area. Let's take this rectangle here. And let's say its length is 10 centimeters. And its width is 8 centimeters. Now, Charlie, how do we calculate the area of a rectangle? Length is width. Very nice there. So let's substitute length with 10 centimeters, width with 8 centimeters. 10 times 8 is 80, and centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. So we can say this as 80 centimeters squared, or we can say 80 square centimeters. And that's our answer for the area of this rectangle. Suppose we take a look at this triangle. Let's say its base is 15 centimeters in length, and its height is 20 centimeters. The formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Let's substitute in the base with 15 centimeters, the height with 20 centimeters. 15 times 20 is 300, and half of 300 is 150. And so our answer is 150 centimeters squared, or 150 square centimeters. Those are the dimensions for area. Now, let's take a look at these meter sticks. This is 12 centimeters which is also equivalent to 120 millimeters. Now let's say this rectangle has a length of 120 millimeters, which is equivalent to 12 centimeters. The width is 80 millimeters. To find the area, we take length times width. Let's substitute length with 120 millimeters and the width with 80 millimeters. Now, notice our dimensions are both millimeters. You cannot say that the length is 12 centimeters and say that the width is 80 millimeters and perform a calculation with those two different dimensions. If you put the length as millimeters, you better have the width as millimeters also. 120 times 80 is 9,600. Millimeters times millimeters is millimeters squared or square millimeters. Therefore, our answer is 9,600 square millimeters. There we go. Let's look at this triangle say its base has a length of 250 millimeters. Its height is 103 millimeters. The formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Substitute 250 millimeters for the base and 103 millimeters for the height. Perform this calculation. 250 times 103 divided by 2 and you get 12,875 millimeters times millimeters is millimeters squared. So our area is 12,875 square millimeters. Now let's look at volume. Say we have this cube here. And this cube has a side length of one decimeter. That means its length and width and height are all one decimeter, right? Now the volume, to calculate the volume of a cube, its volume equals side length cube. So our side length is one decimeter. So we have one decimeter times one decimeter times one decimeter. So our volume is one decimeter cube or one cubic decimeter. Now one cubic decimeter is equivalent to a volume of one liter. Like a two liter bottle of soda, that's two liters. Half of that would be one liter. That's equivalent to one cubic decimeter. Now, let's increase our side length by one decimeter, making our side lengths two decimeters. Formula for the volume of a cube is side length cube. So we have two decimeters cubed. Therefore, we have two decimeters times two decimeters times two decimeters, and we get eight decimeters cubed, or eight cubic decimeters. 
Well, if one decimeter represents one liter, I'm sorry, if one decimeter cube represents one liter, then eight decimeters cube represent eight liters. And therefore, eight liters of fluid will fit into this cube that has a side length of two decimeters. One liter of fluid will fit into that cube that has a side length of one decimeter. Now let's look at volume again. Here's 10 centimeters. And so this cube has a side length that's 10 centimeters. Volume is side length cube. So in this case, we have 10 times 10 times 10, and these are all centimeters. So we end up with 1,000 centimeters cubed, or 1,000 cubic centimeters. Well, that can be written as 1,000 cc's. Now, in the healthcare career field, they often use cc's as a measurement of volume. A cc is a cubic centimeter, or centimeter cube. 1,000 cc's is actually equal to one liter. That's what one liter is. One liter is 1,000 cc's. Now let's look at a small cubic centimeter right there. Each side length is one centimeter. So to calculate the volume, it's one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter, which is one centimeter cubed. That's equal to one cc, which is equal to one milliliter. That means one cc is one one thousandth of a liter because milli means one one thousandth. So a milliliter is one one thousandth of a liter. And notice, one milliliter is equivalent to one cubic centimeter, one cc. So that means that that cubic centimeter right there, if you take that and you put it into this box, you will have to take a thousand of those and they will fit in that box. And I'm going to prove it to you. Watch. There's one cc or one cubic centimeter. There's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, there's eight, there's nine, there's 10. Now let's add 10 more. That's 20. And now 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So now let's put another layer on that gives you 200. Another layer is 300. And then we have 400. And we have 500. Then we have 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Therefore, there are 1,000 cc's in one liter. Now, that completes our introduction to the metric system, or a review of the metric system. So, let's take a break, and I hope to see you again soon.